Hi, this is Bob Langies from Medlin Communications, and today we're going to take a look at why you want to consider the Asterisk IP PBX for your business. The Asterisk solution is an IP PBX, and it gets installed in your office, and it uses a variety of different phone lines. It could use uh, traditional circuits such as PRI or analog lines, but then it could also use newer voice over IP circuits if you're ready for that too. Many companies install the system right behind their existing PBX to give new features to an old system. Here's a list of some of the features that we're going to provide with this solution and they're all accessed through a web browser. So you have things, powerful things like call reporting, uh, web-based configuration, conferencing, call recording, and some others that are pretty easy to access through a familiar interface. The Astro solution uh, being very open, you have a wide variety of different handsets you could use, including IP handsets and some uh, traditional digital as well as analog handsets. From an IP perspective, you have industry leaders such as Cisco and Astra that are available, as well as some other uh, third-party phones too. With regards to analog handsets, uh, you can use uh, very low feature analog telephones like the one shown on the bottom left there, or you could use higher feature screen phones that use ADSI, such as the Sibio Link and the Astra phones. Uh, will give you some features like um, message waiting and the ability to, to update what the phone has on the display during a call. If you happen to have some older handsets like this Nortel Northstar phone or some of these others like the Avaya or Toshiba, you're able to use those on the system as well with a special interface card. And the interesting thing is all these phones you could define what all of the buttons do so they do retain their full function on this new system. Now why asterisk? Well, a couple of reasons. One, it's a mature and open software, so there's a lot of benefits to that. It's been in development since 1999, and it's very feature-rich. Uh, being open standards, you're not locked into a particular manufacturer, which is a great thing because it, uh, it fosters a competitive marketplace. And you, what you'll find as a benefit to that is your cost to purchase the system and own it for the long haul it will be lower than most other solutions. This is an overview of how the system is architected. It starts with a solid Linux core, and then there's asterisk on top of that, and then the two items on top of that, the free PBX and Elastics, really is what enables the system to be easily managed. Uh, it prevents you from having to go and make entries into command lines to make common changes to the system. Let's have a look and see how it works. This is the user and system administration interface for the Asterisk system. You can see right here as a user I have just an overview of what's going on with my system here. I have a call log for me and I have a voicemail here. If I want to see, say, what that voicemail is, I could basically click on this voicemail tab and I'm able to see a list of all the voicemails that I have and today it's just it just shows what voicemails I have today but say if I wanted to see uh, some historical voicemails I could pick another date and some other time apply this filter and it shows those. If I wanted to hear what the voicemail is, I just click on listen here and it's going to go ahead and pop up a box and, and give you that message. And then you could do things with that voicemail like say if you want to download it and save it for later you're able to do that. It's pretty easy to work with. Now from an administration standpoint if I wanted to uh, see what's going on with my system there is an overview of the system health and things. It shows me some critical metrics here, what's going on. And then it gives me some quick tools to see how many simultaneous calls I have, what kind of memory is being used and all that. It's good to get a good glance at what's going on. If I want to go ahead and configure users, I have this extensions here where basically this is what I'm filling in to set up a phone user. So now I give them a name, which I've creatively made this extension 100. But uh, then I'd give it some other things, like for instance, if I had a direct number for this user, I would just type it in here. Uh, I have a secret, which is kind of the phone's password. And then uh, if I want to enable voicemail, I just enable voicemail here, give them a password. And if I want to have the feature where the user can get their voicemails via email, all I need to do is just enter their email address here and it'll send them a copy of that voicemail to their email. Now one great feature that the system has is the, something called Find Me, Follow Me, which basically gives me a list of different numbers that are called when someone rings my extension. Right now, it, 
if somebody calls me, it's just going to go to extension 100. But if I wanted to add another extension here, I could add my cell phone number there. And when I get a call, it'll ring my extension and it'll ring my cell phone at the same time. And at the tail end of this, if I don't answer the call, I tell it where to go. So right now it may say go to my voicemail here, but I could have it go to a different place, like maybe a ring group or another extension if someone else can help this caller. There's other features that you want to look at here, like ring groups. If I need to define a group of people that need to have their phones ring at the same time for some reason, it's as easy as giving it a name, picking a ring strategy, how long do I want it to ring, and then pick the list of extensions that I want out of my available extensions. This can include external numbers too, so if you needed to ring somebody's uh, cell phone number, you could do that too. Another great feature that we have that's just included here is the ability to do some reporting. This is just my call detail records from this system. So you could see here, I made a call from extension 210 and it was answered. Uh, made one from a line that I have identified as this phone number here. And you could see that it was answered as well. And it was 38 seconds long. I could also get a list of things that are happening on the system too. And this is great because most systems today, you really don't know if you have enough phone lines, if you have too many phone lines, and how uh, your system is being utilized. Well, thank you so much for the time today, and please check us out at www.medlininc.com or www.supportdocs.net. Thank you very much.